My name is Jeff Ryan. I'm leading the COVID-19 Task Force here at Jacksonville State University. I hope you're watching this after the introduction I did on COVID-19. This is an addendum to that general presentation. The point of this short presentation is to give you some ideas on how to protect yourself, your students, and your coworkers. Let's get started. You may have read many different things about COVID-19. It's real, but there is no need for any of us to panic. Our goal is to keep you calm and cooperative. We'll do this through the sharing of accurate and relevant information. That information will make you more knowledgeable and able to make the best decisions for you, your family, and your friends. I can't predict the future, but I can assure you that our world has faced threats that are far, far more serious than COVID-19. This is not the Black Death or Spanish flu. We are prepared and we are continually improving our preparedness posture. You too can do the same. No matter if you are a student, a member of the faculty, or a staff member, we all have an obligation to care for ourselves and be responsible adults. I've put together another short video for you to get some ideas on how to do this. My hope is that you find this informative and useful. Here are some things that JSU faculty and staff can do to ensure their success at JSU. Continue to monitor JSU COVID-19 messages. We will share accurate, timely, and relevant information. Stay healthy by practicing good hygiene, getting plenty of sleep, exercising routinely, and focus on eating healthy foods. What you know works to prevent the flu also works for COVID-19. Avoid people that are coughing and sneezing. Wash your hands often. Avoid touching your face. Sanitize your phone. Finally, visit a medical facility if you become ill. Call ahead. Given the present situation, we must be forward thinking. The situation could change rapidly. In just 57 days, COVID-19 went from China to Northwest Georgia. Imagine what would happen if we had to cancel all campus classes, revert to online instruction, cancel large indoor events, practice social distancing through telework, extended business hours, and other things. I encourage all JSU faculty to move their course content to Canvas. Many of you are already using Canvas. For you, it's not that heavy of a lift. Many of you don't use it. Find out how. Seek out a Canvas coach. Take the tutorial lessons. It's not as hard as you think. The entire JSU staff should be seeking to develop a continuity of operations plan. Think through the scenarios mentioned above. How can we keep the workforce safe while maintaining operations? Think it through. Get creative. We can do this. We have concern for our student interns. Some of them operate in an environment that is at higher risk for COVID-19. The first is nursing students working in healthcare settings. They may be at high risk. However, we know that this is an important part of the learning experience. To keep themselves in the game, they should do the following. Study and practice infection control procedures. Ensure that they are properly protected. It may be appropriate for them to wear gloves, eye protection, and or an N95 respirator. When working with respiratory patients, stress that they always protect their airway. Finally, have them request personal protective equipment training from their mentor. If they are a School of Education intern, they work in an environment that often has sick children. This is especially true in cold and flu season. Here's something you can stress that they do. Get children to frequently wash hands or use hand sanitizer. Send ill students to see the school nurse. 
routinely treat surfaces with disinfectants. If they become ill, tell them to see a doctor. If they have been told that they were exposed to COVID-19, direct them to contact you and their internship mentor immediately.